Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Test Drive Unlimited PlayStation 2 Edition. Today is episode number 8. If you guys do want to keep up to date with the TDU PS2 series, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And also, don't forget to check the description for our social links. We have Twitter, Discord, and Instagram. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so we did have like a little technical difficulty scare kind of thing. Um, my <laughs> video output from the PS2 just like disappeared for a second. Um, it was literally a second and then it came back. But I wanted to uh, restart the recording and just make sure everything was fine. And it's fine. So we're going to carry on. So if you see like a really sudden change... Jeez, that jump. Uh, but yeah, if you see a change, it's just... That's, that's why. Got some banging tunes. Oh! Oh, that's not good. Go okay, very nice. The one thing that I do find weird is these are club races. These are technically, like, illegal street races. Why aren't the cops here? try and stop us to make an end to our stupidity I mean it I don't know is it stupid uh, probably I mean it is illegal street race like where are the police that was perfectly timed actually just behind that Jeep there We've gone down the exact same section of road for every single race. Are we actually going to get any variation? Or is Aston Martin just a little bit lazy and has to take the start section every single time? At the next intersection, turn I don't know why, but my leg has just started tapping like crazy to the drum and bass. <laughs> I always do it in recording, like I tap my leg, but it's going like extra fast today. Very nice. Oh, no, 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 no. No, stay back. No! Stop it. It's not fair. That is a big no no. Fifty miles. There we go. We've driven this car for fifty miles so far now. And it's a good car to drive. It's really fun. Come on, let's do this. Ah, we got a corner, we got a corner. Nice. Awesome. Ah, what are you doing? Nice. Here we go, coming up to the finish line. And across it. That is a 329.964, and that's the third club race done for the Aston Martin Club. We showed them who's boss. That's me. Or it's going to be me after the next three races. I'll be president of the club. But next is Robert Angus in his DB9 Coupe. This is going to be an even race between the two of us. And it's the only guy in this club with a same car as us. It's always a good idea to go to a club with a similar car to someone else. Specifically, mostly the president. If you can have the same car as a president, you should have a decent chance of winning. Um, but we did manage, um, what was it? With the Alpha in the V6 one, managed to beat two nobles, which 
pretty decent. So anything is possible. This is very good. Nice. I'm liking this. Not liking that. Okay. So we're taking a large amount of off-road penalty there. Half of our meter is gone. We're halfway to being disqualified. But uh, we took those corners way too quick and there was traffic cars everywhere. It was lucky that we didn't crash into one of the traffic cars because if we did, that could have thrown us off even further into the off-road. Possibly disqualified us immediately. Oh, get back on the road. That was a uh, worry that I did have. Robert is coming. Ow, he sent him off. <laughs> I'm not sorry for that. Whatsoever. Right, but we do have to now watch out for uh, going off-road. We are right at the end of the meter there at the top. Again, I'm always taking um, suggestions for games to play. I love it when people suggest something to play. Uh, especially stuff that I have never played before. Absolutely love that. Oh, no. Don't do that. It's more off-road penalties. Um, but yeah, anyone that has any suggestions, let me know. Because I want to play... If I could, I would play every single game that has ever existed, but that would take me forever, and I don't have that time. Plus, uh, there's a lot of crap games out there as well. But uh, decent games, I would love to play as many as I could. Especially of these, I don't know whether Test Driver Limited was classed as a AAA title, but uh, it's definitely up there as a decent title. Oh, I'm gonna regret doing this. No, I'm not. Okay, that's good. Oh, why have I... Yeah, I am gonna regret this. I've just seen where I've sent myself. Maybe was the game trying to get us to cross over at that later section instead? Oh, no, it just merges into one road at the end here. But here we go. Across the line. How how long did that take? 3 minutes 16. That's decent. And we've just hit the 100,000 mark in credits again. Uh, I think the next thing we're going to have to buy is a brand new house for the amount of cars that we got. Or we'll have to start selling cars. One or the other. I think we might sell the uh, AC. I think. Uh, Aston Martin Vanquish next. The SV12. This is the car that I was worried about. So hopefully this goes alright. But I was really worried about this uh, car going against it. But uh, the Aston Martin, the DB9 that we were against before was uh, not too bad to beat. So hopefully it should be alright. Look how much bigger it looks. To be fair though, Aston Martins are like quite big cars. Oh, we've got the start easily. We're already gaining distance. Hey, I'm not worried anymore. Oh, and it's only 1.9 miles. Ugh. We're going to have to be accurate, though. One mistake, that's it over. Well, it's not over. We just retry it. Oh, we're going through junctions. Okay, going across here, around here, up here. Okay, cool. Nice. That's tricky. Those things you have to focus big time. At the next intersection, turn right. Pay attention turn right. and make sure you know where you're going. Right, one mile left to go. It's a very short race. I think we've needed some shorter races.
Nice. I love doing club races. The clubs were my favorite part of Test Drive Unlimited. These are the best. 115.393. Awesome. We got one more left. That gave us 7,000 for the shortest race yet. What's this last one going to give me? It's an Aston Martin DB9 Volante against Tommy K. I do recognize that name appearing quite a lot in these clubs. So uh, we may see Tommy K again. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if these are even random or not. I don't think they're random names. Here we go. Going against the convertible Aston. Off we go. That would have been funny if he crashed into those two traffic cars. Right, we've got six miles for this one. But based on the fact that we did just beat the fastest Aston Martin in the game, I think we won't have too many problems. Unless there's another secret Aston Martin, like, GT3 car or something. Oh, that's a good shout. GT3 cars and, like, race cars in the next test drive. I know it's, like, a uh, open world, like... You make your dream garage kind of thing. Oh, that's not great. Oh! We have no uh, stuff left. Oh dear. But yeah, test drive with race cars in it. Or even like, if you couldn't buy the race cars, you would have to buy a car, take it to a racing specialist, and they would turn it into a race car for you. Something like that it would be amazing. And then you'd have drift specialists. And then you'd also have your country generic upgrade specialist as well, for example. That'd be cool. That'd be really cool. I really want that to be a thing now. Now that I've said that, I'm hyping myself up for a game that, I mean, hasn't been out for 10 years. I mean, TDU2 came out in 2010. Or 2011, one or the other. That's at least nine years since the last one came out. It's a long time for a game. Right, three miles. We're halfway through. And we don't have any room for going off the track. So we're going to slow it down a bit. Very nice. I can't even swap sides. I would would have swapped sides by now, but I can't. I have no off-road. Oh, that was too close for comfort. No, 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 no. Stay on. Stay on the road. Thank you. Don't change lanes. That's not ideal for me who is clearly speeding on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> no, we're being caught up. This is not good. Tommy K is catching up in his no roof DB9. But he has hit a traffic car or something, or he's just crap. Because we have finished the Aston Martin Club. Ta da! Congratulations, your next vehicle upgrade is free. Awesome. I'll take that. That is awesome. Aston Martin Club. That is the Aston Club done. Done, done, and dusted. We are the president. The president of the Aston Martin Club. I was going to say the United States, but uh, not quite. Not quite yet. Right, we are now on our way to the Club of Britannia. Uh, so these are British cars, I think. Pretty sure. No, all be British, though. Some cars, I know Aston Martin is part German, pretty much. 
but yes, this will be um, a lot of fun to go against some of these cars. I would have a slight feeling that there will be maybe caterums in this, uh, which will be really cool to drive one of them. Because I remember catering. Like, that's a big thing that I remember. Alright, here we go. Come on. Look at the amount of points we're at as well. 223,000. We are nearly at the 250 mark. Which I think, I'm pretty sure we'll unlock the three star, which would be the one after amateur difficulty. I actually don't know what it is though. I cannot remember for the life of me. Your destination is a half a mile away. Your destination is not too far away. Awesome. Here we go. Here's the club. Oh, I do remember this area. Let's go. Auto Club Hawaii. We are here. The British Driving Club. Interesting. So we're looking at Jaguar Type E Coupes, Lotus Elises, Nobles. And we've got an Aston Martin. I think this is going to be easy. So let's start off with Hugh Sterling in his Jaguar Type E Coupe. Let's go. Destruction. Hopefully we can get, um, do these first try. It will be good. Right, here we go. Oh, that car looks amazing. Off we go. I'm hoping again that we quite possibly might get a car from this one. But uh, if we don't, and oh, come on, what are you doing? Get out of the way. If we just get a free upgrade, that's fine by me as well. Um, because I think we're going to be driving quite a lot of cars in the future from now on. Trying to mix it up as much as possible. Because it's taking the Aston Martin for a bit, so we're going to go back to uh, some more D-Class events. Um, finish some of those off. In, I think, the Skyline. Uh, I don't think we'll be driving the Benz again. It's a bit of a nightmare. Um, and I couldn't work out how to sell cars. I don't know whether I'm just being stupid or not, but I can't work it out. But I know you can definitely sell them in TDU uh, 2 and 1 on the 360. Just how do you sell it on the PS2 edition? I'll have to work that out later. But this has gone really quick. We're on 180 miles an hour down the road now. Can we get 200? Yes, we hit 200, finally. 201 miles an hour across that finish line. 1 minute 23.3. I don't even want to see his time. It would be terrible. It'd be miles behind us. That's really good, though. Please wait. Load in. Right, next up is the Lotus Elise 111R. We've actually got one of those cars. Um, but we're not driving it for this one because we're driving the DB9. The DB9 is a groovy fast car. So, uh, are you going to load? Yes, thank you. Let's go. How far is this one? 2.8 miles. Jeez, these are short. I'm going to complete. Uh, Club Britannia quicker than I would expect. Though the Lotus may have the acceleration out of corners, we definitely have the top speed and the like above 120 acceleration easily. There you go, we're at 120 and we are flying away from the Lotus now. Oh, we're going this way. I was going to go the other way around that truck, but uh. The other big truck came into the way beforehand. Now, oh, slow down for this one. That was perfect. 
That was so good and I only got 17 points for that. Should have gotten more. I would have liked more. Meow. Or even near misses giving you like five master points. That'd be pretty cool. Or ten. There we go, across the line. <laughs> Absolutely smashed it into the wall there. 117.8. That was even quicker than the last one, I think. But there we go. 3,600 credits. That's decent. Let's have a look, see what the next car is. I genuinely forget every single time. This one is the Lotus Sport Exige 240R. This is a powerful car. But, hopefully, not as powerful as our Aston Martin. Here we go. Let's do this. And off we go. And the Exige is going to go flying past us for the start. There you go, see? But we're going to uh, regain... Oh, that's not good. Ian has gone. Just waiting for him to mess up, though. There you go, see? And now we've got the upper hand. So he'll have the upper hand here. Oh, no. Maybe not. Crash into the truck, too. I think these roads are fairly straight in the area here, so... <laughs> That's ridiculous! He's crashing into every vehicle that I crash into at the moment. That was really good though, because if it was like area-based as well, we would have um, been disqualified easily. But because of the amount of time that we were on rear wheels then, um, we didn't actually get that bar filled up completely. We went on the ground with four wheels. So, that was pretty decent. Safety. It's also so much easier to drive in this game than... Um, TDU2. Test driving over to 2 is... Every single car feels like it weighs 7 tons. This game, you can actually drive cars. I could drive cars at... What? 240 miles an hour. Easy. No problem being able to drive at 240. I know there is a car that can do 240. I can't remember what it's called. But it, you do get it as a free reward. Uh, somewhere. I think it might maybe a Cadillac or a Chrysler. But it is insane. I think as well that car's also in um, Forza Motorsport 2. Not Forza Motorsport 2, but Forza Motorsport. Forza Motorsport 1 it was in. I'm pretty sure. Nice. And across the finish line. That's the third race of the Club Britannia done. And 4,000 credits. Very nice. Let's go to the fourth event then. Race numero four. And that is a Lotus Esprit V8 with Judith. Let's do this. Let's defeat him. Awesome. Go, 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 go. Watch it. Turn right. Nice.
come on. Oh, this is only 1.3 miles. This is going to be easy. This is not going to be a problem whatsoever for me. At the next intersection. Where's the corner? Where's the corner? It's always a little bit confusing reading the mini maps in test drives because they're quite big. Like, they show a larger area than they should. But there we go. First place. One minute. That was the quickest race out of all of them. That was definitely the quickest race. Right. Next up is Loz with the Noble M12 GTO R3. I know we definitely went against these two cars against a Alfa Romeo. So, I think an Aston Martin's going to uh, destroy these easily. Here we go. How long is this race going to be? 3.4 miles, that's okay. He didn't quite uh, crash into the traffic cars. Oh, what was that? I think AI cars should get off-road penalties as well. So if they go off for too much, they get um, disqualified. And then you get an instant win. That way you can crash your opponents off and just like win every single race. That'd be good. Okay, that's not ideal. Let's speed it up, speed it up, come on. I can hear the noble catching up. Stay back. Here we go, the noble's nowhere near us now. Did the noble actually crash? It might have crashed. The only explanation for why they're so slow right now. Oh, we just crashed. Oh, they're catching up big time. Uh-oh. I'm relying on the Aston Martin's uh, top speed now. And the Noble's slowly going backwards. But here we go. Across the line. And there we go. How much further behind were you? About 3.3 seconds. 3.2. That's all right. 7,750. We are now a vice president. And we're going to become president. This is going to be my final race of the day as well for me. So, Noble M14. Let's do this. It's like half four now. I started recording today at one o'clock. So, uh, over three hours. So, that's plenty of time for today. Let's do this. And now it's time to go against the Noble M14. Okay, that thing's quick. But also very clumsy, apparently. I was going to stick behind that car. I'm so glad I didn't. Because otherwise, I would have crashed into the back of it. Come on, come on. We've got to be as careful as possible. He's actually crashed, I think. We go nice. Come on, speed. This race was literally just about straight line speed. There's the finish line. Not quite the fastest race of all of Club Britannia, but it was fast. We got a free vehicle upgrade out of that as well. Decent. 6,750 credits. Awesome. 
And that is that done. We are now the president of Club Britannia. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button or click on the merch link in the description. It would mean the world to me. And also, don't forget to check in the description for our other social links. We've got Twitter, Instagram, and Discord. So make sure to follow us over on there. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>